hide going on there. And they need it going on. It's not so much the temperature. Am I reading 85 on the screen? Yeah, it's not it's, that hot. It, it, the humidity makes it feel like 100. It's brutal outside. Oh, it's absolutely miserable. I've already heard many, many complaints about it. But you know, we really From lucked us. out today. <laughs> <laughs> right, right here. Where's the tip jar? Yeah, yeah. The play jar, I should right. say. <laughs> Lots of humidity out there, but we lucked out today because we had a lot of cloud cover, so it's only in the mid-80s. So it's right. not the excessive heat, right. but I think Saturday and Sunday promise to be much hotter days for us as we should see more sunshine. So let's get to it here. We've got that heat advisory in effect for the entire viewing area right now. And then we have the excessive heat warning in purple for Hamilton County and the city of Cincinnati. I think we have a much better shot at reaching those dangerously hot heat indices tomorrow and then again on Sunday. And by that, I mean exceeding 100, maybe as high as about 103 and 104 out there. That's probably how it will feel at times tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. So here's a live look tonight at Paul Brown Stadium. And all things considered, it's actually not a terribly bad night. It is, again, very uncomfortable out. It's certainly not pleasant, but tomorrow night promises to be much hotter, especially during the evening hours. It's 85 right now at the airport. We've got a south wind at 6, and there's a look at that dew point up there at 73. So here's the clouds that have really showed us a little favor today in terms of helping to keep the sun covered, and for that reason, temperatures are down a little bit. We even had some rain on the periphery of the region as well. Notice temperatures across the Ohio Valley only in the mid-80s. Again, if it were in the mid 90s, it would be much more uncomfortable. And these heat indices, which are right now just barely in the low 90s, would be up closer to 100, if not above. So again, we lucked out this afternoon thanks to some clouds and for some of you, even a little bit of rain out there, especially south and east of the metro. Radar showing things, though, are looking much quieter. A matter of fact, I think for the most part, we are done with the rain for this evening. It should be a dry evening. I won't call it pleasant because it's not very comfortable feeling outside, but at least it's dry. It's going to stay steamy with temperatures sinking from just shy of 90, about 88 at 7 o'clock, down to 85 by 9 and only into the mid-70s. So again, it is going to be uncomfortable even at night tonight. But we've been telling you for the past couple of days that the real center and the core of the heat is actually out to the west. Look at this, from Chicago to St. Louis to Kansas City, up to Des Moines and Minneapolis. We're talking about heat in the seas this weekend. Could run anywhere from about 108 to 150. So, yes, it's bad here, but it could be a lot worse. Check out Pierce, South Dakota, 100 right now. Oklahoma City closing in on close to 100. It's in the 90s from Kansas City, close to St. Louis. We're only 85, so again, we're on the fringe of the more extreme heat, and that's where we should stay through the weekend, although Saturday and Sunday promise to be hotter days. So we've got the humid air in place right now without a real focal mechanism or a trigger for showers and storms. Storms are going to be few and far in between over the weekend because we're simply going to have to rely on the heat and humidity of the afternoon. So it's quiet overnight tonight. It'll be a quiet start to your Saturday. I don't think we see a good coverage of storms tomorrow. Matter of fact, tomorrow's going to be hotter because we'll have less clouds and more sun. There may be a few stray storms that develop. Those will go away once the sun sets, and then it looks like we'll have a repeat performance on Sunday where we start dry and then maybe a little shot at better coverage of storms heading into the day on Sunday. But either way, both days this weekend look uncomfortably hot and maybe even dangerous at times. So 72 for a low tonight, partly cloudy and muggy. And then for tomorrow, steamy sun with small chance for a pop up storm. We'll make it into the 90s tomorrow around 93. Here's a look at your day planner, 75 at 8 a.m., 88 by lunchtime, and then into the uncomfortable 90s by early afternoon. Here's your seven day forecast, 93. If we hit 93, that'll be our hottest temperature in three years. So we'll see if we do it this weekend. Certainly going to be uncomfortable out. By Monday, we'll start to break the heat with a decent shot at rain for everyone. and then you notice we fall back into the 80s for much of next week. All right, Kevin, thank you. It's right around the corner, two weeks from the start.